Hello guys, you're welcome. This is I Telling for the I Telling Adventure series. Okay, I have this observation concerning my inverter. It's a Felicity Solar 5 kVA low frequency inverter, a 48 volt system. It's working well, but the output meter, the reading fluctuates. Actually, supposed to be outputting 220 steady, but I discovered that it fluctuates between 218 and 221. So sometimes it's 218, sometimes it's 219, sometimes it's 220, sometimes it's 221. So I also came into the premises where I installed the voltmeter and I discovered that that one also is fluctuating. I'm off grid using a Felicity Solar 5 kVA power inverter. I decided to use this um, voltmeter to check if what the inverter is telling me is correct. I don't know, maybe the connections in the house is affecting the voltmeter, so, but this is what it is reading. It is actually supposed to be a 220 volt, but I discovered that it bounces sometimes. It gets to like 217, 214, then some other times it goes over 220, like what we see right here, right now. All right, guys, let's just go to the powerhouse and check our Felicity 5 kVA inverter and see the reading of the output voltage. Okay, okay, guys, I'm now in my powerhouse. This is my Felicity inverter 5 kVA inverter by Felicity Solar. Okay. So I'm going to check what we have as the output voltage. All right, so let's quickly check what we are reading from the charge controller. All right, so we're in boost mode and um, we're 100% state of charge. Okay, there's electricity in the house right now. We're using everything we need to use and we're 100% here, all right? So now let's check the output voltage from the inverter itself. All right, so. There you go. It is actually fluctuating from the inverter. As you can see, it's fluctuating from 218 to 221. That's the battery signal right there. The battery is full. It's supposed to be reading 220 steady. But I see 221, 220, 223. Sometimes I'll see, depending on the load I have running, if the loads are if the loads are heavy, I see sometimes it drops to like 215, 216. Okay, now that's the switch. So we're just gonna put it on quickly and see what we have. On our voltage meters the one in the house and the one in the powerhouse on the inverter okay so let me just quickly put it on yeah it's on so let's go check what we are reading inside and in the powerhouse as you can see now that I have something running about 4,000 watts continuous, the output meter here is showing 215 instead of 220. Right now, the voltmeter I have inside is registering 215. There you go, 214. Between 214 and 215 volts because I have put on my water pump and that's because my water pump is on and it's pulling about a thousand watts continuous. So let's go to the inverter, the Felicity inverter, and check what the output is also reading. Okay, let's go to the inverter. Let's go to the powerhouse and check what the inverter is reading in its output point. All right, guys, so I'm back in the powerhouse and the output voltage from my Felicity Solar is still 220 right there on the inverter there you go that's it right there 
it's still 220 volts. But when I checked inside the house, it was about 214, 215. So that's the mystery. I need you guys to explain if you know anything about this. Why am I getting 220 from the inverter? And inside the house, I'm seeing about 214 because a heavy load is on. Is there something like a voltage sharing going on in the premises? Kindly leave your comments in the comment section below. Explain what you know about this and let's learn together, okay? So for these discrete passes in voltage, if you have electrical information and you know you're very knowledgeable about all these things, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let's learn together, okay? This is just my observation and I'm trying to understand it better and I need you guys your input to understand what is actually happening with the difference in voltage, okay? All right, guys. So until I see you again, have a nice day. Please subscribe and like. Cheers.